time and processing. So I'm actually just going to show the steps uh, uh, slightly different than I usually would. Is it right? So I've got this this path now. I've applied a swatch just over here. I've got some contour swatches. These are available on Graphic Extras website, but you can use any of course any swatches. So right, once you've actually applied that to a path, just click there. You can apply it and just see different swatches. Now. What I've done next, I've actually just gone, taken that design, and I've actually just gone over here, and I've actually applied various effects, such as post edges and sponge. You can just see them down here, various effects. Now, once you've actually applied that, you, it creates some very interesting textures in itself. But if you want to actually use that as a, a vector, not particularly easy, but because what you can do then is the next step. You can actually just go over here, and I'm just going to go over to this one, and I can, I have already done that, I'm actually going to go and use Object and a Rasterize. Okay, obviously got the Rasterize there, but I want this one, the Object and Rasterize, and I've just, just gone for a very basic 72 PPI. So that's already been done already, so that's been processed, that's turned into a raster object. Now, you'll notice one thing when you've actually got so you can now, while that's selected, you've actually got Image Trace available. So you can actually just go over there, Image Trace, and I'll just show you the, uh, the working. And even here it's slightly slow, it obviously does all its initial and then boundary refinement, and a whole range of different steps. But obviously sometimes when you're actually not doing a video tutorial, it's much quicker than that. Okay, so you've actually got there, there's the design. Now of course you can modify it, uh, or you can modify the threshold, so you can, so I'm just going to, up a bit, make a so it's less. Don't want that much. Right, it's going through the whole steps again. That's the one trouble with that. And there you've got that design. Right, once you've actually decided you want that design, you can then go to expand. And then I'm just going to go ungroup. I'm just going to get rid of that bit of white. So if uh, now select same. Fill and stroke, and I just delete all of the white there. So you've got this lovely shape now, which you can of course recolor. And I can go back to blue or red, click OK. Now, I've actually got the result then, just as I've got there, not particularly what I want, so I'm just going to quickly go up here. You see the color has gone to grayscale, so you can actually put it to RGB, and then you'll get it back to what you want is a nice blue. You'll see that some pass behind you can obviously just remove those by just moving those over and then you've got that design which you can of course use as a backdrop or overlay and so much more in 